alcohol wash today. Uh, it's the biggest thing that So the biggest problem facing bees is called the varroa mite. Varroa mite, varroa mite, varroa mite. If you're a beekeeper, this video is for you. This is your first year and you're just getting into the hobby. Uh, if you haven't heard, or if you haven't started to get sick about other people talking about the varroa mite, we're not talking about it enough. Today we're gonna do an alcohol wash to monitor for varroa mites. Do a little smoke in front. We want to frame with larvae, open larva, meaning those are the youngest, those are going to have the nurse bees that are the youngest, so they're more likely to have mites on them. Here we have a frame of open brood, open larva, and some cap brood, so it's just about to be capped. This is the frame that I'm going to use for my wash. I'm just here looking for the queen. And she's here right there. Definitely don't want to wash her. I actually have a paint pen. I'm going to start marking my bees now. know that the queen is not on this frame. I'm going to take it. We want to do a firm, strong shake. One where there's still some amount of bees on the frame. That means that it, I didn't shake it hard enough where I'm actually like, um, you know, doing it too hard. I would end up breaking frames if I hit the bottom of the box. Just want to do a steady. Boop, boop. Now here's the part that most people grapple with, with which people grapple with, is we're about to kill 300 bees. We have our alcohol wash here, half a cup of bees, um, a half a cup of bees, 300. That's, we'll say only 300 bees. Um, while we are taking a life, um, we are saving the colony as a whole. Um, I did about 50 of these already this year, and I found two colonies that would have otherwise been dead in June if we didn't know the Varroa infestation. Um, so I'm able to save that 60,000 because we sacrificed those 300 along the way. So I sacrificed, let's say, 30,000 in 100 alcohol washes. If I find one colony that would have otherwise been dead, I just saved 60,000. There's a net gain of 30,000 bees that are actually now living. So in the game of harm reduction and actually doing good for the bees, this is the reality in which we live. for about three minutes I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'll take some photos if we find any.